expensive part of the market for us. This bud tender at Pot Shop on Dexter believes changing the minimum age requirement for buying weed from 21 to 25 could have a dramatic impact on the industry's bottom line. Thousands of dollars a week, obviously, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know the exact numbers, but it would be, it would be pretty, pretty big for us uh, in a bad way. Pot Shop and stores like it across our state are supposed to make sure anyone under 21 can't buy legal weed. But health officials say young people are getting their hands on marijuana that's super potent. It's obviously a huge part up to the parents uh, is monitoring what their kids are doing. Ever since I-502 passed, the Washington Poison Center says their call volume has increased dramatically with young adults and teenagers seeing some of the most damaging impacts. Plus, the number of people reporting being exposed to cannabis toxicity has steadily increased in Washington since retail stores opened. Cannabis use in the adolescent period has been associated with memory loss and other cognitive dysfunctions and learning issues. That's why some doctors are urging lawmakers in ours and other states to rethink the legal age to buy weed, all to help a developing brain finish growing before the side effects of legal marijuana has a lasting impact. The use of cannabis may exacerbate underlying mental health uh, disorders. And there's also great evidence uh, that's been published showing that early use of cannabis in the adolescent time period uh, can have effect on the developing brain. Plus, we're expecting to learn even more about marijuana toxicity throughout the age ranges when the Washington Poison Center releases its 2018 data in the next couple of weeks. In Seattle, Steve Kiggins, Q13 News. And of course, marijuana is legal.